Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to make my Nutella popsicles. These are creamy and delicious and addictive to say the least, and they're loaded with Nutella flavor. So let's get started today on Dishing with Di. You need some Nutella hazelnut spread some Ovaltine chocolate drink mix, some milk, some sweetened condensed milk, some hazelnut coffee creamer, and some popsicle molds. You're also gonna need a blender. Now, if you don't have Ovaltine chocolate drink mix, you can use another type of chocolate drink mix, but you do need some type of chocolate drink mix for this. So this is a really simple recipe, and let me just tell you, I've made it a bunch of times. It comes out great every time, and I have to control myself not to eat them all. That's how good these popsicles are. So let's just get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take the milk and put this into the blender. I find using the blender much easier than trying to use a hand mixer because with a hand mixer, it tends to splash all over the place. So just keep that in mind. And just put everything into the um, blender here. So here goes your Ovaltine. And when you have sweetened condensed milk, when you're measuring it out, or anything that's real sticky, even the Nutella itself, you wanna maybe grease the inside of the measuring cup so then it kinda slides out a little bit easier. So that's just another little helpful hint when doing recipes like this. So put this in, and I did grease the inside of this little bowl so that this sweetened condensed milk would come right out. And then the star of the show, the Nutella, which I just can't find enough excuses to eat this stuff. I mean, this is definitely spoon worthy. And you know what I mean by that, that you know what, you just go in with a spoon and there you go, there's your dessert. <laughs> but we're, we're making popsicles so that we don't have to do that. So just get all this goodness in there, nice and gooey. And this is gonna really be delicious. Now that hazelnut coffee creamer, that's really important too because that boosts up the Nutella flavor in this recipe. I'll save this for later. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so now I'm just gonna turn the blender on. I got everything in there, right? Yes. I'm gonna turn this blender on and I'm gonna mix this until it's thoroughly combined. If some of it comes up on the sides, like sometimes the Nutella might splash on the sides, I'll just scrape that down. But then I'll show you what this looks like and we'll put it in the molds. And it's done. And now just fill up these molds. These are my favorites. I like fudge sickles if you've ever had those, but with the Nutella in there, over the top. So here's the last one. And then I'm just gonna put the little tops on. Cute, right? Now this is gonna go into my freezer for six to eight hours or overnight. And then I'll show you what they look like. Delicious, over the top. Mm. Super creamy, take a look. Really creamy, really yummy. You have to get this recipe. Do make sure you freeze them at least six hours though. The recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I look forward to seeing you next time, and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. Bye-bye now.